Hello students. So today we are going to discuss the second part of the chapter acid, bases and salts. So today what we are going to learn, today we are going to learn what is an acid, what are the types of acids, what are the uses of acid and last at last we will discuss about what is acid rain and what damage does it cause. So let's start. Now definition of acid. As you can see in the slide, what is an acid? A substance which reacts with a base to form a salt and water is called an acid. That is actually a neutralization reaction. We will discuss about neutralization reaction later on. So, like if I say, like if we cut a lemon and taste it, the lemon it appears to have a shower taste. Now, the shower taste of lemon is due to the presence of an acid in it. The acid present in the lemon which gives it a shower test it is known as citric acid. Similarly you can say raw mango, raw uh, grapes, orange juice, then curd, shower milk, vinegar, tamarind all these are what shower in taste due to the presence of acid in them. So what is the characteristic of acid as we can say acid they have got shower test. Now in our last class we have discussed about what indicators. Now there are many kinds of indicator like natural indicators are there, synthetic indicators are there. Now among the natural indicators one of the most important indicator is what is a litmus. Now generally two types of litmus are there, one is a red litmus and another one is a bl uh, blue litmus. So acid as we all know that it turns what it turns blue litmus to red as we knew it from our previous class okay now these acid these are of basically two types number one is organic acid and number two is what mineral acid now what is an organic acid organic acids they are the naturally or occurring acids they are found in various types of plants and animals okay and what are minerals acid minerals acids are those acids which are prepared from the minerals of the earth and minerals acid they are also known as what laboratory acids as because they are frequently used in laboratory for conducting different types of chemical reaction as well as neutralization reaction. Now this organic acid what does it include? It includes acetic acid, formic acid, citric acid, lactic acid, tartaric acid, ascorbic acid, oxalic acid and malic acid and mineral acid which includes what hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid and carbonic acid. These are the most common organic acid and mineral acids. Now organic acid, organic acid basically these are the weak acid. Okay. Now this mineral acids when we will discuss you will see that they are what they are very much strong acid okay. and these are what these are very much weak acid and this pH the pH of this organic acid it is close to neutral. Now as because it is closer to neutral pH so therefore they are what weak acids that means you can consume this acids okay it will not means uh, affect adversely into your health. Now this acetic acid where it is found this acetic acid it is found in vinegar and vinegar it is used as a preservative in foods. Formic acid it is present in ant sting okay. Now the sharp pain caused by the sting of an ant is due to what the formic acid which is pushed into our skin during the sting okay. Next citric acid it is present in citrus fruit such as what lemons oranges okay. Lactic acid they are present in curd and in shower milk. Tartaric acid they are present in tamarind a kind of fruit, unripe grapes and unripe mangoes. Ascorbic acid, ascorbic acid the common name of ascorbic acid is was vitamin C as you have read in class 6 right. Now these ascorbic acid they are present in amla and the various kind of citrus fruit as well. And oxalic acid it is present in what spinach and malic acid which I have not mentioned in this slide malic acid it is generally found in the unripe apples okay. Now one more thing I want to discuss with you that how you can test the present of an, presence of an acid in a substance by you can perform a litmus test. For example like take some lemon juice in a test tube and add a little water into it to make a solution right. Now put a drop of the lemon juice solution on a strip of a red litmus paper with the help of a dropper 
okay now what you will find you will find that there is no change in the color of a red litmus paper this means what this means that the lemon juice is not basic in nature okay why because only the basic substances or bases it turns red litmus into blue now you put a drop of lemon juice solution on a strip of blue litmus paper immediately what you will observe immediately will observe the blue litmus paper is turning into red this shows that the lemon juice is acidic in nature okay and this is because only the acidic substances or acid it turns what blue litmus into red so as i already said that organic acids these are weak acid it is not harmful to eat or drink okay the substances it contains naturally or uh, occurring acids in them okay now the next one is the mineral acid what is mineral acid as i said you the acids which are prepared from the minerals of the earth are known as what mineral acids you can say mineral acids are the man made acids okay now these mineral acids how many types of mineral acids are there generally uh, three main mineral acids are there hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid and nitric acid one more is there that is carbonic acid okay now carbonic acid though it is a mineral acid but it is a weak mineral acid okay now here you see what are the different uses of this mineral acids in our daily life here you see hydrochloric acid it is used in cleaning kitchen sinks and bathroom sanitary wires okay like uh, you can say basin wash basins okay toilet seats etc then sulfuric acid it is used in making storage batteries for cars buses and inverters okay and nitric acid it is used by what used by the gold smiths those who work on uh, making the gold jewelry for cleaning gold and silver ornaments now these concentrated mineral acids they are very dangerous okay now these acids it can burn our hands and clothes so these acid it should be handled with a great care okay now in the laboratory this concentrated acids are also found now when the people or the students when they work on this concentrated laboratory acid they need to be very very careful okay they always need to use a dropper for handling this concentrated Uh, laboratory acid okay and other than that in the labor laboratories these concentrated acid they are also generally mixed with water to dilute them okay now these dilute acids they are lesser harmful to us rather than the concentrated acid okay now other than this uh, classification that is organic acid and mineral acid another way we can classify this acid as strong acid and weak acid okay now strong acid which are the strong acid hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid and nitric acid these are the strong acids okay that means their ph that is away from the neutral okay and uh, acetic acid formic acid uh, then citric acid tartaric acid and carbonic acid these all are what these all are the weak acid they are lesser harmful you can consume or drink this kind of acids but it does not cause any harm to our body okay as because it is closer to the neutral ph okay now it is obvious that the mineral acids are strong acids as i said now only one mineral acid carbonic acid it is a weak acid it is a uh, mineral acid but it is a weak acid strong acids they are very dangerous to drink even the dilute solutions of the strong acids are extremely harmful to drink okay these organic acids are weak acids the dilute solution of the weak acid are quite safe to drink okay now being weak the organic acids like you can say acetic acid citric acid and tartaric acid they are used as food ingredients many foods you can say like pickle and tomato ketchup it contains acetic acid in the form of vinegar vinegar it preserves the fruits and vegetables baking powder it is used in making cakes biscuits it contains sometimes a tartaric acid now though carbonic acid is not an organic acid but it is a weak acids carbonic acids they are used in the fizzy soft drinks and soda water okay and it gives them a pleasant taste so this is all about your acid now the next topic that we will learn is what acid rain now what is acid rain the rain which contains a higher level of acid than normal is called an acid rain basically which are the gas that is responsible for the formation of acid rain as you can see in the slide sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide and carbon dioxide gas now how you see acid rain 
it is caused by these acidic gases like sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide and carbon dioxide which are released into the air as pollutants during the burning of various types of fuels. Okay. Now, this sulfur dioxide gas, it dissolves in the falling raindrops to form a sulfuric acid. That means, this sulfur dioxide gas, it reacts with water to form a sulfuric acid. Similarly, nitrogen dioxide gas, it dissolves in the raindrops. That means, it reacts with the water to form nitric acid. Whereas, carbon dioxide gas, it reacts with the water to form what? Carbonic acid. Now, these presence of sulfuric acid, nitric acid and carbonic acid in the rainwater makes the rainwater acidic. Okay. And when this acidic rainwater falls on the earth, we call it as acid rain. Okay. Now, this acid rain, it causes damage to the aquatic animals then you can say trees crop plants metal structures stone buildings and monuments okay how come see here acidic rain uh, it makes the water of lakes ponds and rivers too acidic due to which the fish or the other aquatic animals it gets killed okay next acid rain it eats up the leaves of a tree gradually by losing the leaves the trees they die okay acid rain it also causes damage to the crop plant in the field next the acid rain it damages the metal structures like steel bridges etc which falls on them when it falls on them sorry next acid acid rain it damages the surface of buildings and monuments which are made up of stone so this is all about your discussion on acid in our next class we will discuss about bases thank you everyone